Calculating drug dosages so we can start to get our pre-anesthetic medications in. And then once we get those placed, we'll place catheters and induce anesthesia and off to the races. Hi, cucumber. All right, ready? Okay. This is one of the few programs that is accredited. There are only a few programs that are accredited by the AVMA, and uh, I encourage people to attend the AVMA accredited programs. Um, to, because they need to be a graduate of that program to become a licensed veterinary technician. The job titles of a veterinary technician are really quite varied. One of the big things that they're involved in and, and being involved in is they're a medical technician. They run all kinds of lab work, complete blood counts, blood chemistries, fecals, microbiology, whatever. Um, so the, they're the, the main person in the lab. They add so much to a veterinary practice that they're paid at least adequately to, to keep them going. There's the body of the uterus there. The market right now is really good. In fact, recently, veterinary technology was listed as one of the recession-proof jobs for a time. Metzenbaum, who makes good vet techs? I would say people that are enthusiastic, organized, and they have a good feel for being able to handle multiple situations. Um, as you've seen in the lab today, we, we have all kinds of different situations the students get themselves into, and that's the way it is in practice. When you uh, walk into a practice, every day is gonna be a different day. You never know what's gonna walk through the door. You've gotta be ready for anything. You know, you gotta love animals, and you know, you think you've got an act for it, then it's a great place to come. It's all yours. Doc. Sure, anytime. For more information on this and other ACC career training programs, visit austincc.edu/info.